what's up my people welcome back to my channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i really appreciate in case it's your very first time to come across this youtube channel welcome my name is dim wango and kindly consider subscribing tap on the bell icon for notifications give this video a like feel free to drop a comment let me get to know what you think about today's video so guys as you can see my face today i'm so happy so excited guess what today i'm meeting the one and only miss trudy i'm so excited i feel like it's it's a dream come true in a way because i've been watching her videos she gives me the positive energy when you see dimongo out there trying to create something that energy i get it from my brother ayamara big shout out to him hey i'm right here <laughs> and today we are giving miss trudy a new name the african lioness yeah you know <laughs> she's driving <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually you are, actually you are, yeah, you are. Yeah. So since I started YouTube, most of my energy I get it from Miss Trudy's YouTube channel. So guys, let's welcome her. Okay, Miss hey. Trudy. Hi. Right there. Oh, wow. it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I feel so happy today to see you in person. I could even imagine, today I'm going in town. I think I should just see Miss Trudy in this mall and call her Trudy. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to meet you. Yeah. Um, first, I, you know, I didn't know Marwa has a sister. Uh -huh. So he oh. told me the sister would be around and then I've come in. It's positive energy. Yeah. It's amazing that you're actually doing YouTube. Let me tell you, would you great? Just yeah. be consistent. Go pay off. Man. So, truly, for me, I just knew you from out there. Hey guys, now we are in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. The Kenya that you never see on TV. So, tell us more about yourself. Like, how did you start this journey? So let's start with your schooling. How was the experience? Uh, yeah. I'm born and raised in Kenya. Um, I grew up in Nairobi. I went to Madaraka Primary School, and then Milimani Primary School, and then high school I went to Shainas Girls in Akuru. Uh -huh. If you're from Shainas Girls, you know how we do, we could come <laughs> And then a campus I went to St. Paul's University. Uh -huh. yeah. What did you study at St. Paul's? Uh, mass communication. Wow. Oh, wow. So for you doing what you want. But then but the thing is, uh -huh. after high school I didn't even know what I really wanted to do. <laughs> I was so confused. I was all over the place. So I took like is it two years before I now went to campus. Uh -huh. My dad wanted me to be to work in a hospital and be a nurse, but uh -huh. I don't like blood. I'm scared of, you know. Like I have a soft heart. When I see sick people sometimes it hurts me. So I was like, let me do something else and that's how I did mass communication. So how was life? Did you get a job immediately after campus? Because for us in Kenya, after campus you're like, man, I wanna get a job, I wanna start paying bills for myself. So how was it on your side? So I used to do promotions in the supermarket. What? Are you yes, familiar? promotions. Those people who you enter the supermarket and they say, Hey madam, this is Omo, you know. Tough on stains. Wow, uh, wow, man. That's good. That's a wow for me. Just on your hands. I did that for a very long time. Wow. Different brands. I did Omo. I did uh, Airtel. For real, for yeah, real, for real. I was selling in the supermarket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so how was the experience in there? Because for me, when I go shopping and they are there standing, I feel they're doing so much. Like they stand the whole day. So was it easy for you? Like, did you just come along with it like so easy? No, it wasn't easy. No. Yeah. You stand from morning, you're supposed to be at, at work by yeah. 8 and then you leave at 6 what? and you're not supposed to sit down. Yeah. When they get you leaning, it's, it's a problem. Oh, and then lunch, sometimes you're given a break of 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you can't stand the whole day, uh -huh. go for a 30 minutes plan. No, sit your way. Be on time. Wow. Come back, stand the whole uh -huh. day. You know? So it was a lot of pressure. It got to a time where my legs started swelling because I was standing yeah. for a very long time. <laughs> It's crazy, but I feel like God was getting me ready because I feel like what you do on YouTube right now mm -hmm. is like same thing I was doing, but on a different platform. Fashion. So yeah. that was crazy. Wow, and actually, man. you know what happened? Uh -huh. I got fired from that job. Oh. I was planning on how Yani, because there was a promoter standing in the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. The next stage is those people who come to arrange mm -hmm. and go. Mm -hmm. So I thought at least that one is better because. You know, you're not standing selling, there, yeah. You're not range, even, yeah. And then go to another supermarket in the range. So, my aim was that, and then I got fired. I cried, what I cried so bad, but right yeah. now I thank God. I feel like it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, if it prepared you for this yeah. life, that at least you have a testimony, right? Yeah. 
So Trudy, how did it just happen that now you said, you know what, I want to start YouTube because for my case, I didn't know anything, not until when my brother came and, and he was like, you know Your what, brother you want who is Ayamara? Yeah, guy. I'm this guy right here, bro. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. right. no, man. Yeah, and he uh. said, well, do you know what? Since when I go to Nairobi, I want to get you a good camera, a laptop. Your work is just to start. So for you, how was the start? You know, because right now we see Miss Rudy as that famous lioness. Our right li yeah, African oh, lioness. Yeah, now, African I'm lioness. Now, I'm a parent. You know, from today henceforth. Yeah. African lioness. <laughs> yeah. African lioness. So, Take that seat, going? actually. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I always felt like there is more to life than this. Mm -hmm. I, I just felt like, you know, when I used to stand in the supermarket, I used to ask mm -hmm. myself, really, this is what my life is. Mm -hmm. Then I was born, I, I grow up, I go to school, and then I come and work in the supermarket and then die. You know? mm -hmm. I just felt like I have another purpose. Mm -hmm. There's something more. So that's when I started. I saw YouTube, I decided to just try it out. Just try it out. So how was the experience, you know, as a catching YouTuber? You post videos and they're like, men, they're not doing good. So how was your experience? Because for me, Mara could tell me what, you know what? Scenes. You wanna make it? You wanna make it? You know? I, I used to tell her about <laughs> tags and stuff, <laughs> thumbnail. So at least they had so that in a like And oh. guys, I forgot to say this. Do you know what Mara used to pay me for making my own videos? You yeah, tell yeah. Me, who does that? Who does that, man? So I could feel like, man, I'm already monetized. I already have money. Every weekend, if I upload videos, I get hey, money. Only a good brother does that, okay? <laughs> only a good brother. Guys, so I've been hanging out with these guys the, the whole morning, as in. And the bro, like the relationship is just something else. Yeah. Wow. So tell us, for you, how did it start? Did you get somebody to say, Miss Rudy, get this? Start? Not really. I was just watching, I was just creating content. I didn't know about tags. Mm -hmm. I was just, my tag place is too empty. Oh. Yani, I was just trying out YouTube. Yeah, and yeah. I just used to pray a lot. I don't mm -hmm. know. I think God just had mercy upon it. Where, where? Yeah. <laughs> where you come from? Yeah, let yeah. just help you out. Along the way, God brought people, yeah. and uh, you know, when you research how to grow on YouTube, watch yeah. videos, you see what people are saying, and then you're yeah. like, oh, okay, so they start. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it's. And actually for me, I usually say, when I meet people out there and tell me, you know what, Dee, it's Wademaya who made me Rudy who she is today. I say, I really Rudy, don't wait, like let that. me explain. Yeah. This is what I usually uh, say to myself, and I tell them, I tell them this. Miss Rudy used to work so hard even before. When I look at her videos, she used to go to restaurants, spend a lot of, a lot of money investing in it. So I was like, man, you know what, she used to work hard even before. So what God sees true. you working hard, he brings other more people to give to you the support. I was saying it's yeah. the energy you have around you. Yeah. I really don't like that because I feel like I started YouTube before I knew who Maya was. Yeah. Yeah. Like I didn't know Maya. Yeah, so sure. I was trying to do my part. I was doing like Maya just came along. Along. Yeah. And without yeah. Maya, I'd still be doing You are still YouTube. doing good. I'm yeah. glad Maya is here. Yeah. But even we appreciate yeah. You are that's still true. doing it. Yeah. And she was very hard working. You know that's what God was actually making me so impressed. Yeah, I could say. Yeah, no, no, the, no. The Bible says this is from the Bible. Like, if you have something, you'll be given more. Yeah. You know, it's added more. It's added. So, so that's what Miss Trudy had already something, and yes. very just so just a bonus. Are saying, um, Maya made me know. And no, you no, that no. I feel, Yeah, uh, that's true. If Miss Trudy was not that girl who is a go getter working hard, Maya would yeah. not work with you. That's what I usually believe. Uh -huh. He looked at me and I was uh -huh. like, this lady is like, you know, when she Value. can go out there, she can hey, make sweet videos, she, yeah. you know. So yeah. for me, I was like, you know what, she used to work hard, so, so aggressive, so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I believe that you can't be lazy, then, and then someone comes and beans you up, yeah. and you are just sleeping. Mm -hmm. no and so they're building you up, and you're just growing, and you're sleeping. No. You need to put in yeah. the work. Yeah, Actually, that's the thing. So you've been out there, here and there, country after country. I used to watch your Singapore videos, Malaysia. So how's the experience out there, out of Africa now, out there? So most of the countries I've traveled to in Africa, the only countries I've gone to outside in Africa is Malaysia and Singapore. Uh -huh. And uh, it was a very strange experience mm -hmm. because I'm born and raised in Africa. I'm used to having black people around me. So when I went abroad, I felt like people were judging me. Maybe they were not, but it's just in my mind because I'm not used to being around white people. Uh -huh. yeah. So when you go to a supermarket, it's like, oh God, I'm the only black people here. I'm the only black person here. Uh -huh. So it was a little bit weird, but... Mm -hmm. It was an amazing experience. They're very developed, mm -hmm. the different culture, yeah. you know, so it was fun. So, apart from that, how do you feel the fact that now you are dating this 
big YouTuber who you call Wademaya because everybody is like, man, do you know what? If I'm doing this, if I get somebody who does the same thing that I do, it will be more easy because yeah. he will understand what I do. Not like somebody who is having another person who is like, I'm shooting a video and he's like, who do you have there? Why you need to stay? How does it feel like? How does it feel I feel like? like it's kind of the same feeling when you have a brother like I am Arwa. Uh -huh. You know, of course they guide you, mm -hmm. you learn more about YouTube, you learn how to handle, you know, best things, how, you know, the kind of content to create, how to tag your videos, stuff like that. So, it is a good feeling. It's not a, it's the best feeling actually, right? Because for me, it's, it's the, it, I usually tell him, actually introducing me to YouTube is the best thing that you did for me, like nothing oh. else. My sister is so happy, man. <laughs> and I appreciate yeah. that. She's, yeah, that's true. Oh, so yeah. I hope you two should say, say it. It's the best feeling. It's a really good feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what are your next plans now? Um, I just wanna, you know, when you meet people like Marwa, you're like, oh, goals, you know. Yeah. So we are praying that you just to improve myself, yeah. you know. Um, grow on my platform, um, inspire more people, yeah. and you know the most important thing, just leave a mark. Yeah. 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 Because like we are talking today morning with Marwa, many things will just be memories, you know, yeah. what did you do with your life. Yeah. So what advice will you give to these starting YouTubers who are just, who has just started YouTube today, because it's never that easy. So tell them, maybe they'll get it more clearer from you. So the advice I'd give you is, uh, Nothing is impossible. You know, yeah. Don't be scared. Me, I remember when I was starting my YouTube channel, even me, Siati, we are from a rich family. Me, I used to be like, wow, well, you go online, chicks are doing videos, street driving, street what cars, yeah. street what houses. Teslas, yeah. Probably that's always your phone to buy a camera. Yeah. Like me, I was vlogging with my phone, not because, not for fun, but I couldn't yeah. afford to buy a camera. So I just bought a camera when I hit 100k. When I was starting, but I didn't let it hold me back. Yeah. So you see, you're blessed to have a brother who just buys you a camera. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, okay. bro. Okay. Don't let your background hold you back. Sometimes you're like, I'm not this poor, poor, hot girl. Sometimes yeah. you look at girls only and you're like, why are so yeah. pretty and me, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if they have money and me, don't let it hold you back. If you want to do YouTube, believe in yourself, pray about it. It's not yeah, I think it's okay. So we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you think you have any additional questions that maybe you think I would have asked her but I haven't, let me get to know in the comment section. Maybe next time when I meet her, we'll get to talk about it. Yeah, she may even respond to them. Yeah, she might yeah, even respond definitely. to them. Yeah. And uh, I love the interview. And you're so good, you're flowing. I feel like this is what you should be doing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> thank you. Actually, when I was starting YouTube, I didn't know how to speak even English, man. My English was so broken. I look at my previous videos and I'm like, oh gosh. So this is what you brought me from and I'm so happy about it. Actually, what I can say is when you keep on doing something consistently, you get used to, you get some, you know, you become very confident and everything yeah. just flows. Hey, give her a shout out, Tan. She's yeah, still actually, here. go check Miss Trudy on her YouTube channel. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Guys, check me out. Uh, I'm Miss Trudy. Yeah. I do travel in Bexel across Africa. Check me out. Please come over and yeah. subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to leave the link down below. I'm going to pin it, so kindly go subscribe to her channel. Her new yes. name is? Yeah. Hey, Afri African? African, African Lioness. Lioness. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, if you're from my channel, yeah. subscribe to her channel. Okay. Thank you guys. See you soon on my next one.